Nanette Fabre, a luminary in the entertainment industry, has etched her legacy through a multitude of remarkable works. While pinpointing a singular defining moment in her illustrious career may be challenging, her contributions span across various mediums, showcasing her versatility and talent. Beyond the spotlight, lesser-known anecdotes about Nanette Fabre fascinate and illuminate her journey further, adding depth to her celebrated persona. Her life and career contain a tapestry of cherished memories and experiences that captivate those familiar with her work. Sharing these stories invites a richer understanding of the impact she made on classic Hollywood. We invite you to share your own cherished memories or personal experiences related to this iconic figure in the comments below. Her influence resonates across generations, fostering a shared appreciation for her enduring contributions to the entertainment world. Share your stories and let us celebrate the indelible mark she left on us all. Nanette Fabre, a luminary of the entertainment world, left an indelible mark through her multifaceted talents. Born in California, her journey to stardom began early, captivating audiences with her prowess in singing, dancing, and acting. Yet, it was her resilience that became a defining trait. Diagnosed with a hearing impairment at a young age, she never allowed it to stifle her aspirations. Her Broadway debut in Let's Face It not only showcased her comedic flair, but also marked the beginning of a remarkable stage career. The theater was her playground, earning her a Tony Award for her performance in Love Life. Not one to be confined to a single medium, she effortlessly transitioned to the silver screen, earning an Academy Award nomination for her role in the bandwagon. Fabre's talents extended beyond acting. Her effervescent personality shone through her television appearances, notably in The Nanette Fabre Show and One Day at a Time. Her versatility was unparalleled, effortlessly crossing genres and mediums, leaving an indelible impression wherever she ventured. Beyond the glitz of showbiz, she dedicated herself to advocacy, becoming a passionate spokesperson for the hearing impaired, advocating for awareness and resources. Her commitment to this cause mirrored her own perseverance in overcoming her hearing challenges. Throughout her illustrious career, Fabre garnered accolades, including three Emmy Awards and a Screen Actors Guild Life Achievement Award. Her impact on the entertainment industry reverberates through generations, inspiring countless individuals to pursue their dreams despite adversities. Nanette Fabre's legacy endures not only in the annals of entertainment history, but also in the hearts of those she touched with her talent, resilience, and advocacy. Recipient of the Eleanor Roosevelt Humanitarian Award, Nanette Fabre showcased a profound commitment that extended far beyond the silver screen. Her dedication to advocacy for the hearing-impaired community reverberated on a deeply personal level, a testament to her own resilience in overcoming adversities. Her actions transcended the confines of her acting roles. They resonated as resounding declarations of empathy and support. Nanette Fabre's tireless efforts garnered recognition for her unwavering dedication to humanitarian causes. Her platform became a megaphone, amplifying awareness and mobilizing resources for those encountering similar challenges, leaving an indelible mark that surpassed her performances. Her legacy, firmly grounded in philanthropy, remains a timeless source of inspiration, perpetuating her commitment to inclusivity in today's world. Nanette Fabre's enduring impact continues to serve as a guiding light, a beacon of hope and advocacy for generations to come. Under the tutelage of Max Reinhardt, Fabre diligently refined her acting prowess, sculpting a robust bedrock for her illustrious career. Intriguingly, she ventured into uncharted territory, opting for surgical enhancement of her nose, a bold departure from convention, earning her the affectionate moniker No Nose Nanette. This unique choice subtly underscored her individuality, adding an intriguing layer to her persona. Her journey was a tapestry woven with threads of resilience and fortitude interlaced with a myriad of experiences that nurtured her multifaceted talents. Beyond the footlights, her unwavering commitment to advocacy, particularly for the hearing impaired, elevated her legacy beyond the realm of performance. Nanette Fabre's impact was not merely confined to stages and screens, but extended deep into the fabric of humanitarian causes, enriching countless lives. Her life and artistic journey serve as a testament to unwavering perseverance and remarkable adaptability, leaving an indelible imprint on the annals of entertainment history and the hearts of those she touched. Nanette Fabre's narrative continues to inspire generations, showcasing the profound impact one person can have on the world. 
This narrative, shaped by her resilience and dedication, stands as an enduring testament to the power of determination and the embrace of uniqueness, forever etched in the chronicles of both entertainment and humanitarianism. A hearing-impaired performer for years, Nanette Fabre underwent four surgeries that restored her hearing. Her dedication to advocacy for the disabled, particularly the hearing-impaired, extended beyond her acting career. She championed causes, serving on committees, and pushing for sign language and captioning on TV. Notably, she received the Women's International Center Living Legacy Award in 1993. Additionally, she's the aunt of actress Shelley Fabre. Her multifaceted contributions to humanitarian efforts and her resilience in overcoming hearing challenges shaped her lasting legacy in entertainment and advocacy. Nanette Fabre's impact continues to inspire generations in embracing uniqueness and determination. Nanette Fabre's journey in entertainment blossomed early, marked by a remarkable versatility that spanned Broadway, film, and television. Her acclaimed performance in Love Life earned her the coveted Tony Award, cementing her place in theatrical history. Fabre's talents, honed at Los Angeles Junior College, transcended conventional norms, notably showcased in her nomination for Mr. President years later. Despite exaggerated claims about her involvement in the R Gang comedy shorts, she briefly appeared in one episode as an extra. Her career trajectory, however, was defined by her Tony win and continued dedication to various entertainment mediums, shaping her enduring legacy as a multifaceted luminary in the entertainment industry. Nanette Fabre's roots trace back to Louisiana, where her parents, Lily and Raoul Bernard Fabre, hailed from. Lily, with Irish ancestry, was born in New Orleans, while Raoul, of French descent, came from Point a la Haque, Plaquemines. Nanette's paternal grandfather's origins could be traced to Lacassagny, Haute's Pyrenees, Occitany, France. In a pivotal career moment, Nanette declined the opportunity to be the original voice of Wilma Flintstone in The Flintstones. Instead, she chose to star in Irving Berlin's Mr. President, Berlin's last completed show. Despite opening to negative reviews, Nanette's decision shaped the trajectory of her career. The Flintstones, on the other hand, became enduring American pop cultural icons. A family affair unfolded when Nanette appeared alongside her niece, Shelley Fabre, on One Day at a Time and the April 15, 1975 episode of The Hollywood Squares. This collaboration showcased the familial ties within the entertainment industry. Nanette Fabre's journey, rooted in her diverse talents and strategic career choices, weaves a narrative that transcends personal and professional boundaries. Her Louisiana heritage, influential career decisions, and family collaborations all contribute to the mosaic of her impactful legacy in the entertainment world. As we bid adieu to this captivating journey through the tapestry of Nanette Fabre's illustrious career, take a moment to wander through the corridors of your own memories. Let the echoes of her performances resonate in the chambers of your recollections, inviting introspection into the unique threads she wove into the fabric of entertainment. Perhaps you find yourself lost in the rhythm of a song she brought to life, or maybe it's a character whose quirks and nuances have etched an indelible mark on your cinematic landscape. Now is the time to unravel those personal connections to share the whispers of admiration that have lingered in the recesses of your thoughts. As we collectively traverse the diverse landscapes of Nanette Fabre's contributions, it becomes evident that her impact transcends the screen. She was merely an actress. She was a storyteller, a weaver of emotions, and a conduit for shared experiences. In celebrating her legacy, we find ourselves celebrating the mosaic of our own cultural tapestry interwoven with the threads of her talent. Your reflections and anecdotes are not just tributes to a remarkable artist. They are testaments to the timeless connection between performer and audience, a testament that echoes across the ages. So, open the gates of your memories, share the narratives that resonate, and let the communal appreciation for Nanette Fabre flourish. In this shared space of remembrance, we express gratitude for the joy, laughter, and poignant moments she bestowed wood upon us. The impact of Nanette Fabre on the world of entertainment is immeasurable, and your participation in this reflection only amplifies the resonance of her legacy. Thank you for your time and for joining us in paying homage to an extraordinary artist. May your memories of Nanette Fabre continue to enrich the tapestry of your own journey through the realms of storytelling and performance.